There's a lot of places around the world to go skiing, but after 30 years of doing ski tours in the Sierra Nevada, we think it's the best anywhere. We've done established tours, we've made new ones, but we've yet to do a bad one. We start our tours with a quick review of beacons. Your guides will be doing a good job of assessing terrain and keeping you safe, but this is one basic technique everybody needs to know. One thing we like to do on the tours, if we get the opportunity, is drop the pack, take a layover day, and ski a peak. Yeah, baby! Yep, this is pretty damn good. I love this! Food's always important on the trips, so we try to take good food, not too much freeze dry, keep everybody fueled and happy. We even take along a few fresh ingredients. The Bishop Pass to Taboose Tours are one of our classic four day tours. We rate this intermediate. An intermediate skier should be able to ski intermediate groomed runs on the ski area on tally or alpine touring gear. You need to have basic survival, skiing, kick turns, traversing, side slipping, and getting down any slope efficiently without falling, even if that means walking. We cross over Thunderbolt Coal from Doozy Basin into beautiful Palisade Basin. From here we get a fantastic view of the central Sierra Nevada. The ranges stretch west out into Sequoia Kings National Park. Our six-day Monarch Divide tour passes through this country. Uh, off to the right, it is. Yeah. yeah, there's a few over there off to the right. We, though, take a long traverse of several miles over to Potluck Pass and drop down to a little unnamed lake on the other side. Potluck is a steep little pass, but it's short. So we'll often use a rope just to get started, and once the angle decreases, we'll take the rope off and just ski the rest of it. This is a technique we'll employ on a lot of passes like this. And if you don't feel comfortable, walking down is always a good option. Wherever we can for camps, we'll pull out on rocks, set up a kitchen, put the tents on the snow. The next day we cross Chimney Pass and have a wonderful downhill run of several thousand feet and into Palisade Lakes. Beautiful skiing and fun. We cross the series of Palisade Lakes and start the long climb up towards Martha Pass. Passing below Middle Palisade, Disappointment Peak, and some of the other high peaks of the area. It's hard to imagine that the John Muir Trail comes through here, and in the summer there's hundreds of people. The south side of Martha Pass is steep, so we'll often down climb the first little bit where there might be a cornice, dig a platform to make a good jumping off point to just ski the rest of it. Once you get going, the angle decreases and it's not too bad. And once that's over and done with, we set up camp at a series of little lakes, maybe on a bench out on the sand and enjoy the view further down the canyon into the South Fork of the Kings River. The next day, we keep heading down canyon before heading east and back over Taboose Pass. Taboose is an old traditional Paiute crossing. They used it for trading obsidian to the west. Sometimes we'll even find a few shards lying in the dirt. We also get our last views back out to the west. Down the South Fork of the Kings, to beautiful Arrow Peak. And then it's down into the warmth, the flowers, the smells of sage in the desert. And time to celebrate. Woohoo!